light of technology evolving day by day, there are lots of creative and necessary gadgets being produced. Well, actually, without technology, we might not be able to do certain things anymore. And how cool can gadgets be for military and police people? Well, let's see the seven coolest military and police gadgets. Number seven, the Throwbot XT. The Throwbot XT is a versatile, stealthy, and easy to deploy tactical robot which can efficiently be used during various search and rescue missions. This micro robot provides both audio and video reconnaissance of dangerous environments. Military fire teams and SWAT personnel can quickly gain situational awareness during high risk operations and surveillance missions using the robot. The Throwbot XT is inherently water and dust resistant and weighs just 1.2 pounds and can be thrown up to 120 feet. It is also exceptionally quiet and is equipped with an infrared optical system that activates automatically when the ambient light is low, enabling the operator to see in complete darkness. Once deployed, the micro robot can be directed by the operator to quietly move through a structure and transmit video and audio to the handheld operator control unit 2, aka OCU2. The stealth capabilities can be utilized to locate armed subjects, confirm the presence of hostages or innocent civilians, listen in on conversations, and reveal the layout of rooms. Information that can save lives and increase the success of high-risk operations. Up to three robots can operate in the same environment at the same time without interference. These compact little bots can transmit audio and video signals from normally inaccessible areas, making the detection of illegal and explosive materials easier. Number 6. The PRISM 200C from the fascinating yet creepy files, a British firm has unveiled a backpack-mounted radar that allows users to see through walls. The device, the PRISM 200C, is marketed towards law enforcement and the military. Users place their backs towards a wall of a building and are instantly given intelligence on the locations and movements of anyone behind the wall. Results are transmitted to a user's handheld device. According to the PRISM's makers, the device was developed for high-risk and hostile situations with minimal time and a very narrow margin for error. While the technology is not new, earlier versions of the behind-the-wall radar have been on the market since 2006. This is the first time a single-user version of the radar has been available. Prior versions required one emergency worker to mount the radar up against the wall while a second user viewed output on a nearby computer. The device's radar works with brick, block, wooden, or concrete walls and can provide users with 3D views of movement inside a building's interior. Interior views are gathered through ultra-wideband, which is primarily used for wireless USB products on the consumer market. Ultra-wideband has an extremely high spatial capacity and offers the bonus of being extremely hard to detect while in use. It is also fitted with a battery capable of providing up to eight hours of battery life and being able to fit in a backpack makes it ideal for covert operations. Number five, XSTAT. The Rapid Hemostasis System, or XSTAT, is a revolutionary technique to stop excessive blood loss due to injuries on the battlefield. The injection, which is filled with tiny cellulose sponges that are coated in a coagulant and an antimicrobial called chitosin, was specially designed to help save bullet wound victims from excessive blood loss. The technique includes an injector syringe and tablets that look like sponges that inflate when they come in contact with the wound. These sponges are actively covered by a hemostatic agent. Evidently, the wound can be filled with inflated sponges in less than 15 seconds, allowing hemostasis to kick in and completely stopping the blood loss. You inject it right at the point of injury. If a soldier gets shot, a medic or fellow soldier can then pull out that applicator, stick it into the wound cavity as close to the source of bleeding as possible, inject it, pull out the empty applicator, and he's done. The sponges will expand over the next 20 to 30 seconds as they absorb blood and create more pressure inside that wound. They create pressure that is a little higher than your normal arterial pressure 
enough to stop the bleeding, much like if you put one finger on a cut and applied pressure. That's what those little individual sponges are doing inside the wound cavity. Except you have a hundred little fingers applying pressure to the walls of the cavity and pushing against any vessels that are injured. And the material of the sponges is regenerated cellulose. The sponge is made with the same wood pulp materials that most of the sponges in the world are made of. The difference is that almost all sponges in the world are filled with very toxic chemicals to kill mold, but Extat sponge is biocompatible with the internal use of the human body. Number four, Sarcos Exoskeleton. Sarcos has been developing powered exoskeletons and the robotic technologies that make them possible for decades. And the lobby of the company's headquarters is a resting place for concepts and prototype hardware that's been abandoned along the way. But now, Sarcos is ready to unveil the prototype of the Guardian XO, a strength multiplying exoskeleton. The Sarcos Guardian XO is a 24 degrees of freedom full body robotic exoskeleton. While wearing it, a human can lift 200 pounds while feeling like they're lifting just 10 pounds. The Guardian XO is fully electrical and untethered with a runtime of two hours and hot swappable battery packs can keep it going for a full workday. It takes seconds to put on and take off and Sarko says new users can be trained to use the system in minutes. One Guardian XO costs $100,000 per year to rent. In a practical sense, the Guardian XO is a humanoid robot that uses a real human as its command and control system. As companies of all kinds look towards increasing efficiency through automation, Sarkos believes that the most effective solution is a direct combination of humans and machines, enhancing the intelligence and judgment of humans with the strength and endurance of robots. The first thing to understand about the Guardian XO is that like a humanoid robot, it's self-supporting. Since it has its own legs and feet, the 150 pound weight of the suit bypasses its user and is transferred directly into the ground. You don't strap the robot to you, you strap yourself to the robot, a process that takes less than a minute. Number three, Skywall 100. The Skywall 100 is an alternative solution to the commonly used frequency jamming technology. Whilst RF jamming solutions are very effective, they have high collateral effects on the wider community. Their use is highly regulated and generally prohibited except for law enforcement and military agencies. The Skywall 100 is a kinetic solution that uses compressed air to deploy an intelligent projectile that splits in half when in close proximity to the drone and deploys a net to capture it. Skywall 100 is a cost-effective solution that provides a proportionate response to defeat a drone. It can be deployed as a single drone defeat solution or part of a multi-level security overlay. It could offer both long and short range protection against multiple types of drone threats. Skywall's accuracy relies on a laser powered smart scope, which allows the guns on board computer to calculate exactly the right moment to fire the projectile. The projectile itself keeps in constant communication with the gun and does not unleash the net until it is close enough to the drone. Number two, X-Flex. Like a bulletproof vest protects the wearer from bullets, the X-Flex fabric protects from bombs and shrapnel. It is made from a polymer composite laced with reinforcing fibers that make it strong yet flexible. The material is applied by wiping away dust or particles from the wall surface, peeling away a protective film liner and pressing the tape against the wall. The wall may be coated with a water-based primer developed by Barry after cleaning to reduce the time it takes for the adhesive to stick to the concrete. The material is further secured at the top and bottom with fasteners to ensure it stays in place if hit by an explosion. Once the wallpaper is applied, its Kevlar-like material combined with an elastic polymer wrap becomes virtually stronger than the wall it's shielding so strong that it's being considered to protect U.S. military bases overseas. Number one, star chase. High-speed car chases not only put police officer lives at risk, but also are a significant risk to innocent bystanders. 
However, with Star Chase's GPS darts, police are hoping to drop the number of cases even lower. The Star Chase technology is mounted in the grill of the police cruiser. If a suspect begins to take off, police can activate the technology and use the laser control to aim the dart at the suspect's car. The dart will attach to the vehicle wherever it is aimed. Once the dart is in place, police can begin to back off. With the police no longer visibly hot on their tail, suspects stop driving erratically, dramatically lowering the risk for injuries or property damage. Which of these gadgets did you like the most? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.